General Buchanan, we have a bunch of questions from people who are, you know, residents of the island who really want to get it from you, you know, an update of what's going on in different areas. First, they want to talk about the obvious problem with the electricity. Um, you know, is the, are the armed forces assisting Prepa at all to get that service the, back online? The Army Corps of Engineers uh, actually works directly for FEMA. They don't work for me. But the Army Corps of Engineers is working. FEMA asked the Corps to uh, take the lead to help restore the power grid. Sure. And so they are doing some of that with with Corps of Engineers employees. But what they really have is a very large contracting mechanism. And so they can contract with power companies from all around to come here to help PREPA. Okay. Uh, and based on PREPA's priorities, they've sort of split up the work on who's going to do what restoring the power grid. Do you have any say over, you know, the resources or, or maybe having this done quicker than it's been happening for, you so know, 21 I, days? So, you know, I, uh, I, I talk to the Corps every day and obviously I talk to the governor. And, you know, the governor is, as you would understand, not nobody is happy with how long these things take. But uh, I think you need to understand on the on the eastern side of the island in particular where the trees have been flattened the power lines are flattened it's going to take a long time to get the grid back up okay. now some some we have seen some success in uh, in reestablishing parts of the grid prep is doing great work there and we'll have more come on so about 10 days ago i think we had two or four hospitals that right. were on the grid and right now we're somewhere like 36. Okay. So about half of the hospitals. It's, but it's going to take a long time. You think? Okay. I do. Um, you know, why do you, people are asking, why do we seem to be no better off now than we were three weeks ago in terms of debris removal and food donations and even empty supermarket shelves? I mean, is that something that you can maybe discuss? Um, I can talk about a little bit of it. Uh, I think we're, we are better off when it comes to clearing the roads. Uh, so I, I spend time every day out in different parts of Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and uh, I fly over a lot of it. And there are, you know, compared to 10 days ago, most of the roads in, in Utuado, for example, are very clear. Okay. Um, and I talked, I was in uh, Hialeah today, and many roads there are clear, very few blocked roads. Uh, so. But clearing the road so that a vehicle can get through does not mean removing the debris. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think it's going to take a long time to, uh, to get all that stuff cleaned up. Now, does, the answer to that is not a soldier. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we really don't want to take soldiers to drive trucks to remove debris. What we'd rather do is use the money from FEMA to pay local people okay. to remove the debris, because that way we put the money back into the local economy. And that was one of the questions, actually, if the so, Army was contracting local companies to help the out. The Corps of Engineers is, the not, Engineers. not the okay. Army, not that part of the Army that I live. You know, what about distribution, the empty supermarket shelves? That's yeah. scary for a lot of people. Yeah, so we, we continue to distribute food and water everywhere we go. And, you know, again, 10 days ago, we were concentrating a lot on fuel. Mm -hmm. And now the fuel supply has kicked in and, and many gas stations are open. And I think we're in pretty good shape with fuel, both gasoline and diesel. But but food and water, we've still got a long ways to go. So we're, we're uh, helping FEMA uh, get it to each one of the 78 municipalities. And in some, some municipalities are in great shape. They take it from there and are able to get it directly to families. But some need still help from the military. Mm -hmm. And especially when, when we have areas that, you know, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to Sidra. Mm -hmm. And my concern is over on that part of the island, you start seeing more areas that are cut off. We're going to have to keep using helicopters to deliver those wow. supplies. Wow, okay. Now, do you have anything at all to do with the Postal Service? Are you, do you have any kind of jurisdiction as to what's happening there? Because You pay my salary just like you pay the salary of the Postal but they're, Service. They're, and that's, about, not, they're that's about the closest I'm related. We're both, wow, well, they're holding so. up packages. They're not really yeah. delivering. People are you know, really concerned about you know, the care packages that they're waiting for and nothing is arriving. Yeah, I, I, is there anything you can do about that or no? I can, I can ask and, uh, I mean, I can talk to the, uh, my contacts in FEMA and see if they have any say-so. Yeah. I, so, 
I got told that all the post office were in fact open, but just because of the again, we have to be careful with what these things mean. Mm -hmm. The post office may be open; it may be accepting letters, but they may not be able to deliver. Right. And that's that's a big difference. Well, what's you know, being said is that it's being held up in San Juan and Catania, that the packages aren't flowing. I, so that's a concern. Yeah. I'm just I, I'm just relaying the concern here because okay. many people are waiting for for surprise from right. their loved ones wherever they may be outside the island. One last question. I mean, are you satisfied with the current conditions? No. No. Well, you you wouldn't you aren't satisfied, are you? No. So listen, it's not. I, we won't. Nobody here. It's part of this team. We have a great team between the governor, FEMA, the military members. We we have a great team, but nobody should be satisfied until their life is back to normal. And that's going to take a long time. Now, I've, I'm, I'm satisfied with the help I'm getting from the military. Everything I've asked for, they've sent me. And, and you know, we've got uh, four large military medical facilities here that we're helping people. We've, I've gotten all the helicopters I've asked for. We've got four large ships mm -hmm. around helping. Mm -hmm. So everything I'm asking for is coming or it's here. And I think we're doing, we're working together well as a team, but that doesn't mean that anybody ought to be satisfied until things are back to normal. And it's, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to take time. Jack, to, you know, tell people the one thing, you know, I, I keep saying this, but I think it's really important. Uh, I am, uh, everywhere I go, I'm amazed by how I see people wanting to help themselves and then more importantly, helping their neighbors. And it's, you know, just take bringing water to their neighbors or helping to clear their road or hauling away their debris, these kinds of things. That's the spirit that it's going to take to get us back on our feet here. Thank you so okay. much. Gracias. Appreciate your time.